previously on Training for Black Canyon 100K. Two years ago, Black Canyon was my first ultra marathon. I'm doing it again, but something's missing. Mike Miller. Mike was my training partner. We were both doing an ultra for the first time. Unfortunately, Mike is still stuck in finance in the greater New York City area. He just doesn't make time to run anymore. I'm devoting this race to Mike to remind him that there's more to life than finance. No running today, just some cross training. I'm really trying to add cross training into my training schedule early on to not get injured. The last two times I trained for this race, I was injured by week seven or eight. So I'm hoping that by adding in cross training and by adding in some strength work in the beginning, I won't have to take a three week break somewhere. And that's really one of my big goals for this, uh, for this year's Black Canyon 100K is to get through the training cycle without being injured. Another goal is to do no race day nutritional experiments. Last summer at the Vermont 100, I had terrible, terrible chafing. It was suggested to me that I might have sweated out so much salt that the salt caused some chafing. Uh, so this past year at Black Canyon, I had the brilliant idea to try to do an entire race in the desert uh, without taking in any salt. It was a disaster. I still sweated really salty. Uh, and I had taken in those salts, so I was completely bonked by mile 50, uh, which brings me to goal number three, which is to beat the dark. This year, I would really like to finish without having to use my headlamp. I think for me, that means about an 11 and a half hour race. Uh, but goal number four is probably the most important goal. And this is to make sure that Mike actually shows up to the starting line. Uh, he is on the wait list for the race, but everybody's on the wait list. They're not gonna move it to registration until the race is definitely happening. So now I'm just hoping that I can use uh, these videos to kind of bamboozle him into actually showing up. All right, so end of the week wrap up. It was about a 52 mile week. I was aiming for 60, but today we took Ava hiking with her friend Miles. Uh, up by Leadville, um, so didn't quite have, in, have enough time to put in the last couple uh, miles. Um, on Saturday, did a long run on Mags, uh, you know, which aside from being totally epic, also actually in terms of the amount of elevation gain per mile, closely resembles uh, Black Canyon, uh, maybe not on the terrain, definitely not on the altitude, but in terms of how much elevation gain there is. So it's a pretty solid place to do a long run especially as, uh, as snow comes in and some of the trails become less runnable. But also a very encouraging sign from my friend Mike. He ran uh, 19 miles over the weekend, uh, which suspiciously seems like Black Canyon training. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, Till next week's update.